Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Simplex 4010 Test 32. I'm back. So this is kind of a cool test. Um, like I said in one of the posts on my channels, I've got some new devices that I have been uh, holding in storage for a while, and I just haven't made any videos with them. So the next couple of videos are going to have a lot of new devices in them. And hopefully, um, they'll think the ones I got today are pretty cool. So to start off over here, we have my brand new Protectawire BG50W. This is a newer version. Well, I got it brand new, but it's also newer in model year from that uh, Protectawire BG50 I already have. And the W standing for waterproof. This is the waterproof version, but there was really not a, that big a difference other than there was a gasket included. Going up here, we have a Simplex 4906 9133 True Alert Chime Strobe. This is a multi candela chime strobe, and this will be doing code three chime at approximately uh, 1000 hertz frequency of the chime and it will be flashing at 30 candela and then if we come over here we have the system sensor it is the system sensor ch24 oops ch2415 chime strobe this is another rare device that i got and it'll be doing um 1000 hertz Temporal 3 chime and then flashing at 15 candela. We come down over here, we have one of my personal favorites, the Kita B5, and this is underneath the stopper. And the horn on the stopper is off because, frankly, it's quite annoying. We will be um, solo testing the smoke detector today and possibly doing one of uh, the key switch or the stopper, not sure yet. If we come over here, we have the System Sensor S1224MC. This is the um, remote strobe of the System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic line. And this is the multi candela version, and this will be flashing at 30 candela. Coming down here, we have the Life Safety by Mercom MS151 single action pull station. We'll be doing that today. And then same enunciator stuff as that. Sorry for my absence between schoolwork and the virus and everything. Things have been pretty hectic, but during that time that I have been back from college, because like most people, I was kicked out of my university, we got a fresh coat of paint on the wall. Probably doesn't look too different. Um, it was pretty much the same color, but fresh new paint on the wall. Cleaned everything down here. Got a ton. Of, got rid of a ton of stuff. Organized a ton of stuff. You know, we actually got a place for my cabinet now. So we're good. It was a worthwhile closure. You'll probably notice the biggest change in this wall where the old Silent Night panel used to be. It was all full holes, full of pencil marks, but that's all cleaned up. Now we got the LOC coated pull, the bell, the smoke, and the other bell. So that is all nice and cleaned up. So to begin, I think we will just go ahead and start with the Protect Wire BG50. The door drop is on. It will be dropping the door today. And we can begin. In three, two, one. And because this is a two-wire True Alert device on the Smart Sync circuit, the strobe continues to flash while the chime is turned off, and that was done over two wires. And then because this is a four-wire device, the chime turns off, but the strobe continues to flash. This one has set frequencies at 800, 1000, and 1200 hertz for the chime, set by dip switches, and then this one is a variable frequency. Uh, it's just a little potentiometer on the back that you turn with a screwdriver. So I tried my best to get that one in tune with that one. I think I got pretty close, but I know it's not perfect. So we got the panel silence. We'll go ahead and reset the protector wire pole station. I will get my key. Okay. Oh, hush. I pushed the button by accident. So we'll reset our little plastic bar. 
Usually it is a glass bar. Hush. Usually it is a little glass bar in here, but because I didn't want to break the original glass bar that's in the storage there, I cut off the end of a paintbrush and I am using the paintbrush handle as a reusable break bar, break glass bar, because it has to have a break glass in to keep the pull station closed. That's what the key actually bites into, the key lock tab. So I had to add something in there and I want something kind of flexible, so I found an old paintbrush cut the handle off and I'm just using the plastic tube. So for anyone out there, a plastic tube uh, works great for a reusable brake uh, uh, break glass rod. So we will go ahead and let the panel finish resetting. Got some strobes going. That strobe's going over there. I don't have the uh, system sensor module hooked up so those are uh, kind of out of sync but they're mostly in sync and we just wait there we go we are reset so we can come over here and do the kid of b5 so we will lift and then lift and then pull triple action which is not always legal but who cares All right, so we silenced that. Um, so the little thing about chime strobes, on the back they will say for private mode only, meaning that they are not for public notification, but rather private notification, meaning that they would go in something like a bedroom in a nursing home or a hospital room where it's just um, one or two occupants in there. And it is a more pleasant, calming tone during a emergency that, um, is usually desired you see them most frequently in hospitals nursing rooms and such but these are private mode notification these are not public mode notification so we'll go ahead and reset the kid b5 to reset this have to put your tool in I'll kind of show you you can kind of see put your tool in and then just unscrew and the lever snaps back up, screw it back in. And close stopper back up. And while we got the panel and alarm, we can do the stopper station. That's always fun to do. So we will lift and push. Oh, that didn't lock. All right, so we got that silenced and we can reset the panel and then reset the stopper and hopefully we do it in time before the panel detects that the stopper is still an alarm. Okay, so panel is resetting, then we'll go ahead and pull the Life Safety by Maricom MS-151. We got the uh, hand grenade, manual fire extinguisher up here. I'll be doing a video more about that later, but as you can see by the NFPA diamond back there, that is a level three health hazard because it is chock full of carbon tetrachloride, which is a very nasty chemical. So, but there will be a video more on that at some point in the near future. If we come over here to the life safety station, we can go ahead and do a pull from that and then control from the enunciator. So in three, two, one. Oh, I meant to do that from the enunciator. It's not as fun to do a big countdown 
and then just have the little chimes go off. So we'll go ahead and reset this one, then we'll do the key switch at my desk to give the enunciator some more control. Oh, hush, maybe we don't need to. Oh, there go my keys. Wouldn't be a fire alarms in such video without me dropping my keys, now would it? That's number two. I'm definitely back. Hush. Yep, would not be one of my videos without me dropping my keys and struggling trying to do a simple pull station reset. That is for sure. Give. Okay. And we can do the key test here. Why not? Okay, so we got a silence requested from the enunciator, and then we'll go ahead and issue a system reset. So that's been requested from the enunciator, and we will wait for the panel to go. I never reset the door. I forgot to do that, didn't I? That's unfortunate, but I think we'll live. Strobe in here is going. Okay, panel's reset, so we'll go ahead and get, which one do we want to do? We'll do the saber, that's always fun. So, you know, you can always go, oops, hiya. And we just point and go. Now we wait. We'll go ahead and turn on the fan on the notifier system. Hey, my light didn't come on. I will have to look at that. I was messing around with the terminal box. Today on that, I might have bumped something loose or forgot to hook something back up. Huh. Well, that's on my long washboard list of things I need to do. Okay. So we got our panel smoke detector. Let's go in it and see. Okay, so we're at 1% of alarm of our smoke concentration. Our peak was 100% of alarm or 2.5% smoke concentration. We are at 0.0% smoke concentration right now. And remember for my true alarm video, you can see in real time, or as real time as you're gonna get, your concentration in your smoke detector as long as your current heat detector status. And go ahead and do that and issue a system reset. A lot of people knock Simplex, but I think it's a pretty solid panel. But I'm sure a lot of these features you can get in other ones. In fact, I know you can on the notifier for some of the devices. I've always had a soft, soft spot for Simplex. I like my 4010, it's a good little workhorse. And we wait. And we wait. There we go. Okay, so I think that is going to conclude the test for today. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.